Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to protect yourself while torrenting in 2024 so you don't leak your IP address. Now, if you guys weren't aware, one of the main reasons people use VPNs is to protect their IP while torrenting. Using a VPN will give you a shared, pretty anonymous IP that will make it so anyone looking to observe your torrent activity can do so. This means internet service providers or anyone else. Now, just to be clear, guys, I'm not advocating any downloading of illegal content in this video. I will just be using a Linux ISO. Always follow the laws in your countries and always download responsibly, guys. But in this video, let's go ahead and get to the tips. Now, in this video specifically, we're going to be using Surfshark VPN. This is one of my top rated VPNs. However, they also have decided to sponsor the channel since they like my content. So if you guys are looking for a good VPN, go ahead and check out my Surfshark review. Is it the perfect VPN? No, but it's a very good VPN and it's one of the best priced VPNs when it comes to its bundled packages, especially if you want to take advantage of something called Incogni, which can remove your information from data brokers, which will prevent you from getting doxxed. It's also one of the fastest VPNs out there. So that's why we're also beginning using it in this video. All right, guys, so what is the first thing you really want to do to make sure you never leak your IP while torrenting? Well, what we're going to be doing is binding the torrent adapter or binding the network adapter. What exactly does this do? Well, this means that your Qubit torrent application, well, that's the one I recommend using anyway since it's open source and it doesn't have any ads. Basically, it means that it's not ever going to be able to download without being connected specifically to your VPN's um, adapter, or in this case, it's WireGuard protocol. So how do we do that exactly? Well, you're gonna to wanna to connect to your VPN, go to tools up here, go to options, go down to advanced. Now you go to network interface and pick Surfshark WireGuard in this example. We're gonna hit apply, and now nothing will ever download unless you're immediately connected to your VPN. So let's say you forget to turn on your VPN, nothing will download. Let's say your VPN disconnects for some reason, um, or there's some kind of issue. This will never download. You'll always be protected by your VPN. It's kind of like a qualifier built into the application to ensure you're always protected. So pretty much already, if you're downloading something, you're pretty much good to go. However, there are also some other tricks and tips you could do as well. One cool thing that you can do is go to the settings section. You can go to, well, specifically for Surfshark, and you could go to the kill switch section. So basically what this does is that if Surfshark has some kind of issue, it's gonna kill your internet and no application or anything on your computer will be able to connect to the internet. So it's kind of like a network kill switch is basically um, what it is. Another cool thing you could take advantage of while torrenting with a VPN is something called split tunneling. Surfshark has this in a feature called bypasser. Basically what this means is that you can use Surfshark through VPN, but maybe if you're playing a game, it won't use a VPN through that. So you could specifically do it for a website, um, an application, and etc. So that is a pretty cool feature as well. Definitely something you can take advantage of if you don't want to impact the speeds of your gaming and stuff like that. Another trick you could take advantage of if you don't want to use a VPN is something called a SOX5 proxy. Now, SOX5 proxy isn't going to encrypt your internet traffic, but it's going to add a baseline hide and kind of change your IP so internet service providers or anyone else can't recognize it as your home address's um, IP. Basically, now Surfshark as a VPN doesn't offer this feature, unfortunately, um, but for those who do want that feature, I would recommend NordVPN, which is kind of like a, um, a company that's also owned by the same people who own Surfshark. Now, if you do want to do this route, the pros are that you can use this VPN um, and not have to worry about turning the VPN on, basically. It's like using a proxy server. It's anonymizing your IP, but not necessarily connecting to a VPN. And some people like this because it's just more convenient. Basically, what you do is you get the proxy server, do SOX5, type in the address. For NordVPN specifically, it's us.sox.nordhold.net, port 1080. You can also do um, this one, authentication, and you're going to enter your credentials for that VPN provider. TorGuard is also another excellent VPN that provides proxy access, but for some reason, I've been getting better performance on Nord's proxies lately, which is why I recommended it specifically for this video if you're looking to do uh, SOX5 proxy access. 
This basically, you'll just push apply and okay. And anytime you download your IP is gonna be anonymized. So it's definitely another good trick too that should be up your arsenal. All right, guys, those are pretty much it. You should be protected and anonymized while torrenting. It doesn't have to be that complicated. And I showed you a couple different tips and tricks you could take advantage of in this video. Let me know down in the comments down below if you know any tips and tricks I missed. And I might make another video spotlighting you. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video very soon.